Art has a huge influence here in Augusta and tucked away in the heart of downtown is Tire City Potters. Today, I'm in your neighborhood to get my hands dirty, throw some clay, and find out a whole new meaning for art appreciation. My name is Shashir Choksi. Uh, I'm the owner of Tire City Potters. Why a pottery studio? Uh, well, I mean, I went to school, got a bachelor's in sculpture, and bachelor in fine arts and sculpture and in ceramics, um, and I was really into working on the wheel, so it made sense. Everyone tells you in college too, like, yeah, what are you going to do with that degree? And with here that. you are with your own studio. <laughs> I don't, this is not for the faint hearted or faint of heart. You, you really have to be serious, the amount of commitment that goes into it and um, the sacrifice that you have to be willing to make both in terms of financial and also in terms of uh, your own personal freedom. It's, it's a lot. Yeah, clay is, it feels very great. I feel like I'm back in Egypt, you know, sculpting a pyramid. <laughs> Augusta, you know, it's been a great place for me to live. Uh, it's been a great place for me to raise my family, but to do something like this, this is not an ideal location for it. The arts are kind of a back burner issue for most people. Especially in Augusta, it's very art encouraged, but right. a lot of the artists right. I talk to say the same things that you're right, saying. Right, right, right. Yeah, well, and I don't necessarily blame the community for it. It's just that's something that comes culturally out of out of sort of you have to have the right ingredients in the soup that recipe has to already be bubbling for a little while for there to be an economy so where do you see if you don't mind me asking mm -hmm. like a lot of your profits coming from when you say people are coming here and being like wow this is so expensive for a mug mm -hmm. i mean we don't have a lot of profit here <laughs> uh you know we struggle month to month because that is what happens with most artists in Augusta. They either go, they get stuck in the food and beverage industry or something like that, or they take on some other job that's gonna pay them well enough. And by the time they're either having kids or you know, even if they've already had kids and whatnot, that day job really gets in the way. See, I didn't do that. I chose this and I suffered financially for it. How do you tell people though to go after that dream job? Mary Rich. <laughs> Talk about you know, yeah. The cultural aspect of pottery in itself, because I know sure. there's like a whole right. background to it that I don't think a lot of people are aware of. You know, we've got plastic, we've got glass, we've got all these different things that you can use, uh, Pyrex, so on and so forth. Anything, any variety of different stuff that can be used. So why, why pottery? Um, I think there's a return to sort of people wanting to be closer to the end product. Or, or an end product closer to the person that's making it. It's, there's a certain amount of, I think personally, there's a certain amount of charge to an item like that. You know, I make a bowl, it resonates uh, the time and space in which it was made. It resonates with um, the, the activities of the shop. It, it's gonna have a certain amount of, you know, what state of being the person that's been messing with it. So there's all this stuff in something even as simple as a bowl. A lot's going on in that little, space that is on the wheel yeah. and if you don't know what you're doing things go things go wrong pretty fast so like we offer the throwing experience which gives someone the opportunity to try to make something at the wheel oh, there it goes no it's okay <laughs> slow it down a little bit what's the importance of of saying happiness is wealth versus dollar signs being well. It's 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 a balancing act. I think if you're passionate about it or you're really really into it, uh, you you'll find a way. Hopefully the way doesn't take you out before. Yeah, yeah. In your end hood couldn't fit it all, but I did it all by myself. So look out for me in a few years. You can have a <laughs> studio.